Got a load of laundry ready. Heading up to the laundromat. And while the laundry is spinning, I'm gonna go out and do some treasure hunting, dumpster dive style. Let's go see what we can find. Eight minutes after seven. While the clothes are in there spinning, got about a half hour. Go out here, do some diving, see if I can fill up my container. I may have to head back to the storage unit. We'll just see how it goes. Just depends on what I find. Hope it gets better than this. Oh, that's not a bad find, though. No. Oh, What's up, man? Yeah. Better not take that bicycle. Like I said a few videos back, it's hard telling with them bicycles sometimes. A little kid could have just set it there, you know, but. That thing had flat tires and stuff. But... I generally will leave that stuff alone. Unless it's total trash, you know. The chain's just all seized up with rust and stuff, you know. That's all vinyl shades. Some doorknob action. Sorry, yeah, man, I'm making a video. No. Dumpster diving is dangerous. I dropped some keys somewhere. I don't know where they went. They must have went under the dumpster. What do you think? There they are. Careful up there, man. That's dirty in here. It's dirty and dangerous. Stinky. Hey, get off there, boy. Get the gang. 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 Wait, sir, before you leave, it's an honor. Yo, I'm 6'9! I'm 6'9! Go, Nasa! That's cool, man. Hey, keep that's, that. gonna, that's gonna poke my eyeball out. No, Ow. Ow! Keep that alive, Ow. right? Ah! 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 I'm gonna size those tires in there. Sheesh. Look at this TV. It's a whopper. This is a, the land of giants. Let's see. Oh, it's a cord. A little step ladder in there. It's kind of busted up. These old step ladders, these wood ones are good if you've got cats. Scratch it, sit on it, and play on it.
Not exactly starting off with a jackpot. Hopefully I can at least pay for the laundry. So I got some new hoverboards. They're empty. I can just no, they're empty. By the way, it moved a little. But, uh, Chain there. If I really wanted to, I could snap that on top of my toads, but I'm not going to. If I had to, or needed to, or wanted to, I could. But we're hunting bigger game, folks. Oh. <laughs> Farkle? Right after I say we're hunting bigger game. Found myself a shiny little farkle. <sighs> Old school CRT TV. Flat screen TV. That CRT TV is actually busted up enough that it wouldn't be too hard to get the copper yoke and stuff out of it, but I'm not gonna do that take up my time in this video and I want to show you as much as possible look at it far collection plus if I scrapped out every one of those I found on a video people would just get bored with it and stop watching I have a video down in the description linked up if you want to see how to scrap out those old CRT TVs properly a little better. For those of you new, that's my air pump. I got a leaky tire. I'm just wearing the tire out, so I'm carrying an air pump here for a little while. There's actually some textbooks in here. I didn't notice. What are we dealing with here? That doesn't look like much, but these things can be worth a small fortune. Study guide for like a medical office administrative procedures type deal as goofy as these look that could be a jackpot right there it just depends on if they're still being used the next Next time class is open. And even then, they're still gonna have some value on Amazon lots of times, even if they're not in use, like these study guides and stuff. Study guides for taking tests and whatnot. So that's what these happen to be. That one doesn't say study guide, the other one, dude. Anyways, this may have just made my video. We shall find out. This guy is a rocket machine and he's hungry. See the comment? Sometimes people are like, they would use their smartphone to figure out what this stuff is right away. But I just want to get in and, hide, in and out of here as quick as possible. I'm not going to stand around taking time looking in the phone that's actually quicker the way I do it without a phone because I'm gonna take these home I already have a good idea of what's valuable and what's not and I'll take these home and find out for sure while I'm uploading this footage to my video editor which takes a long time so this gives me something to do while the video is uploading so actually I'm saving time by not using a smartphone out here Farkle it's 
It's not very often where I find a stack of books and every single one of them sellable on Amazon. But that is the case here. This is the least expensive one. $15. It happens to be the biggest one too. I'm pricing these to sell. This is the bottom rung prices for the most part on Amazon. Hi, I know, because I started I started talking to the camera, so you gotta come. Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Hello. I was sleeping. $50 on this one. $30 on that one. $50 on this one. 20 on that one. 55 on that one. Happens to be the smallest one. 20 on that one. $60 on that one. 60 is the top one. 50 on that one. So, uh, that's a jackpot. $350. Like I said, that's bottom rung prices on Amazon. These books were very valuable. Since I don't have money invested in the books I sell on Amazon, I just price them to sell. And uh, I wanna I want to move them as quick as possible before they get outdated, you know, textbooks. Wouldn't be a day without a Swiffer. Dumpster smash this on. So let's see. Oy. I guess I'll just do that for now. Okay, there it is. 747. It's gone for 29 minutes. Oh, there, right on camera. Half hour. There it is. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna put the clothes in a jar, and then uh, I'm going to actually work myself back towards my storage unit. I should have got out here about a half hour earlier, hour earlier, because the sun's about to go down. So I'm gonna go pick up my flashlight and my coat uh, while I'm working my way back there. Hopefully I can get all the way filled up and drop all this off and then come back up, get the laundry. See what we can find on the way back to the storage units. 7.59, we'll just call it 8 o'clock. I might be able to get this done before the sun goes down. I mean, I, I can see fine out here. That's the GoPro, it starts to fade a little bit when there's not good light. I mean, it does really good in low light. That's just not quite as good as the human eye yet. Operator, not. Oh, shoot, it's probably why I was throwing away. That thing's jammed. Not anymore, it's not. Okay. 33 minutes, I'm back two minutes early. Actually, I'm only back a minute early. Technically, technically it wasn't quite eight. But changing plans, I didn't find a whole lot, so I didn't go all the way back. No sense in taking a trip, I didn't need to. I found some uh, skibble scabble items. There it is. Temperature really dropped, sun went down. 
I was gonna get a coat and get my flashlight and then I thought about it no need to take an extra trip and got that vest right there I found that a while back some of you might remember Mossimo anyways it just came out of the dryer so it's awesome <laughs> I guess that's gonna wrap it up hope you enjoyed the show Hopefully the clip I added in, telling the value of those, was video worthy. I meant to say, the little bit of scrap metal I found in this video, that's about as bad as it will ever get for me. And this would have been my very first laundromat fail video if it wasn't for this. So stick to it to divness. Stick to it to div. Stick to it to div. Stick to it divness. It's hard to say slowly. It's easy to say fast. Stick to itiveness. Stick to itiveness. Anyways, that's how you make the scores. Hope you enjoyed the show. And as always, thanks for watching.